everyone, I'm back and I am now ready to show you what I've been working on for the past couple of weeks. Um, but before I do, I just want to uh, give you a little bit of information. The first example that I am going to post the tutorial and cut file on as a feature file is going, it's showing my idea in a shape album. Of course, that probably doesn't surprise you because I'm totally addicted to shape albums. However, I have lots of other ways and other applications that this idea can be used with just a little bit of resizing. I think there's a lot of possibilities. So, but for this, but for today, we are going to look at a shape album and what I am going to call Create a Window. And it's called Create a Window because you can create your scene behind the window. But this is what I've been talking about, or this is my idea, and it's a little 3D pop-out window. Let me try to show you the dimension. See, you're looking inside the window. There's the side view, and it's all one piece. My original design, I had uh, designed it in two pieces, and I wasn't happy with this seam. So I kept working with it until I came up with this one piece design. So you cut it all out in one piece, you score it in a few places, fold it and adhere it together. And it makes this cute little pop out bay window. And since this is a fall album, I decided to put a little farmer looking out the window with a little, this is just a sticker back here that looks like a little wall hanging and jack-o'-lanterns in the window. And of course the leaves are blowing because it's fall and it's supposed to look like the trees kind of hanging over the window. The curtain is not part of the cut file. I simply just shaped a piece of cardstock to the window and then punched the edge with the Martha Stewart lattice punch. And of course I thought this plaid paper looked kind of like wallpaper for a little country looking in to a country window and there's just a quick peek at the rest of the album so that's that's my idea create a window or a 3d pop up window it's not really a pop up because it stays popped up all the time I hope you guys aren't disappointed I know I got some of you kind of excited and I'm excited about it because I love to tell a story with my projects I love to create a scene and I can see this used in a Christmas project, um, a Christmas book, and put a big Christmas tree in the window. Uh, you could put little kids in the win window looking out. Um, just lots of ideas. And I guess for this book, you're on the outside looking in. So I hope you like it. I have lots of other ideas for it. I can't remember if I said or not, but just with a little bit of resizing, I think it would make a very cute dimensional card to put with a gift. Um, I can see it made much larger, maybe for the cover of a book or an album. Uh, make it smaller, maybe for some gift tags. Lots of ideas. I have lots of things floating around in my head. So we'll see. I'm working on a Christmas version now. And actually, I'll go ahead and show you the pop out or the, the window. I don't have the rest of the book complete, but this is supposed to be a toy store. And for this one, I actually put a, a piece of acrylic in the window. So hopefully it's not glaring in the video, but I'm trying to create a book that's like a little town square with little shops and a little cobblestone street. And so I thought a toy store would be neat. And again, it's just the all one piece score and fold. Very simple to do. I will have the uh, cut file posted shortly with the tutorial. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to get it formatted all correctly to show a screenshot of the mat. I wanted to show a screenshot with the, uh, this page with the score lines where you will fold, but I'm having trouble getting the right format so that people can open it up on their computer. So I may have to do something a little bit different, but I hope to have my very first feature file tutorial posted soon. And let me know what you think, and I hope you like it. Thanks for watching.